Welcome to PubGuru by Monetize More. Once you receive the PubGuru registration invite from Monetize More, all you need to do is click on the link. It will tell you the domain that's already mapped to your email, and of course you will see your email address. Then you will need to set up your account, set up your password. Agree with the terms. If you want to read it, just go ahead and click the link and then go ahead and create your account. Confirmation instructions will then be sent to your email. Once you have the welcome email in your mailbox, go ahead and click on the link to confirm your account. It will then redirect you to the PubGuru link and your email has been successfully confirmed. The next thing you will do is sign in with the email address and password that you set up earlier. If your Google Ad Manager account is not yet linked to your PubGuru dashboard, the first screen that you will see will request or require you to connect your GAM account. And all you need to do is sign in using the credentials that you have to access your Google Ad Manager account. Once you have signed in, go ahead and click on Allow. Then click Next. The next window will show you all the different ad networks that's already been set up by Monetize More. Click Next. You will see your PubGuru dashboard. Make sure that on the Domains filter or tab in here, you select the relevant domain. Please be advised that this dashboard we're using for this demo is a dummy account. It does not reflect the actual performance of any publisher we manage. Let's start on the left-hand panel. If you're only running Ad Exchange, you're only going to see Ad Exchange report. If you're running header bidding with us, or if you're a premium publisher running multiple ad networks, you're going to see all these different options. By clicking in here, you can either collapse or expand your sidebar options. Now in here, you can set the date range depending on your need or select a custom date range and click on apply. You may also change the graph metric by clicking in here and select from the drop down. And you can set the currency to USD, Euro, or Canadian dollars. So you have the graph in here or the chart and at the bottom is a tabular presentation. You also have an option to export the report if you need to. Let's go ahead and explore the Ad Network report. You can still set the date range depending on your need and click on apply and change the graph metric by clicking in here. You have three options, revenue, impressions, or RPM. And currency, you still have the same options. You can select up to five ad networks that you want to be displayed in your graph. And when you do that, you will notice that a tabular presentation at the bottom will also highlight those five ad networks you selected. Now, even if you selected only five ad networks in your filter up here, you will notice that all ad networks running on the account will still show up. They just don't have those colors. And here you can toggle if you want to show all the ad networks. You can go ahead and keep this on. But if you just want to display the ones that you selected in the filter, go ahead and turn this off. Okay. By default, this report is arranged from the highest earning to the lowest earning one. So from left to right, you're going to see the total first, and then the next highest earning ad network and going down to the right. And that's based on revenue. If you want to check the discrepancy between the ad network user interface and Google Ad Manager report, click on the discrepancy button that you see. It will then give you the data between the ad network report or the one that we see in their user interface versus what's reported in Google Ad Manager. Then you're going to see if there's a discrepancy in the revenue report or the ad impressions report. And to go back to the previous window, you go ahead and just click on the discrepancy button again. This button right here allows you to look at 
each ad network and compare the stats against other ad networks and have them displayed on the graph as well. So observe how what happens as I click this button. They also disappear from the graph and I click them again right there. So let's say, for example, I just want to compare Google Ad Exchange versus Verizon AOL. I'll go ahead and disable the rest and have those two displayed on the graph and compare their stats. This button right here allows you to single out the ad network. Let's say, for example, I just want ad exchange to be displayed on the graph and nothing else. Then I'll go ahead and select or click this button. Analytics report and account connections are currently managed by Monetize More for you. Analytics report will give you insights into your analytics account once it's connected to PubGu dashboard. Your Monetize More account manager can help set that up for you. For account connections, these are the ad networks that's already been set up for you. And this is also where you can update the credentials if needed. Clicking on this gear icon on the upper right hand corner allows you to set up your profile settings, payment settings, or logout. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time.